hello friends today in this video we are going to discuss about the three domain classification system okay which is introduced by Carl Oz in 1990. So now let's discuss about the three domain classification system. So what is the three, dom three domain classification system? So it is a system for classifying all the biological organisms or all the living organisms based on their differences in 16S rRNA sequence. So depending on the on their 16S rRNA sequence, different organisms are classified into three domains. So all the living organisms which are present in the world, all the living organisms are classified according to their differences in their 16S RNA sequence and they classified into three domains. Okay, so this is the classification system, three domain classification system. Now the question is why 16S RNA is choosed for this classification system? Why it is taken? So this 16S because the 16S RNA sequence is specific and conserved in within a species. So within a species, all organisms are all organisms have same type of or same sequence of 16S RNA. So this 16S RNA is taken to classify all the organisms according to their 16S RNA and they class and them and then classified them or differentiate them into three domain okay so previously the classification system which are used that are the two kingdom classification system the first classification system next is three kingdom classification system next five kingdom classification system so all of these classification system previously which are used they classify organisms based on their physical characteristics but but in this three domain system the classification is done with genetic analysis which is more specific and more convenient classification system for living organisms okay so that is the advantage of three domain classification system so now let's discuss about the why three domain system is required so previously which classification system is used for class uh, living organisms to classify them the previously used that was the five kingdom classification system so the five kingdom where the all living organisms are present that are the that uh, kingdoms are monera protista fungi planty and animalia in this five kingdom all the living organisms are put it in this different kingdoms okay but now Carl Oz proposed that a group of prokaryotic microorganisms that is the archibacteria should be separated from other monerans that means the archibacteria and also bacteria all are all are all unicellular prokaryotes are present in this monera kingdom but Carlos proposed that their the archibacteria which are present in this monera group they should be present in different in different uh, new kingdom because this archibacteria do not share much characteristics with the other bacteria they are uh, unique in their characteristics so he proposed to separate this archibacteria from the you uh, from the bacteria normal bacteria from this monera group so therefore he decided to split kingdom monera into two separate kingdoms that are the eubacteria and archibacteria so carlos proposed and he split this monera kingdom into two kingdom that is the eubacteria and archibacteria and other kingdoms are same that are the protista fungi planty animalia so according to carl o's classification system there should be six there would be six kingdoms that are the eubacteria archibacteria protista fungi planty animalia so six kingdoms are present according to carl o's classification system and he proposed three domains under which the six kingdoms are present so he proposed three domains under which the six kingdoms are present so what are those domains and how these kingdoms are divided into all these domains so let's discuss about the so this is the three domain system and the three domains are archaea domain bacteria domain and eukarya domain so under the under these domains all the kingdoms are present different kingdoms are present so under the archaea domain the archaebacteria kingdom is present under the 
bacteria domain the eubacteria kingdom is placed and under the eukarya domain the protista protista kingdom fungi king, fungi kingdom planty kingdom animalia kingdom these four kingdoms are present so all total six all total six kingdoms are present under this three domains so according to carl os three domain system the three domains are archaea domain bacteria domain and eukarya domain and under this domain all total six kingdoms are present okay so now let's discuss about the characteristics of archaea domain and bacteria domain because carl os divide these two domains or these two kingdom from the monera group okay so uh, so they they should be they should have the difference in their characteristics that's why carl os divide them so what are their characteristics so uh, at first let's discuss about the archaea domain characteristics so their characteristics are they are unicellular prokaryotic and the most important they exist in extreme environments that means they can uh, resist the cold temperature and also the high temperature so they can be present in uh, very low temperature environment and very high temperature environment okay and also they do not need oxygen or light to live okay so the examples are methanogens extreme thermophiles extreme halophiles so these are the examples of archaea domain and also their molecular structures uh, molecular structure and cell wall and the cell membranes all are different from the bacteria to resist that type of uh, to resist that type of uh, high and low temperature that means uh, to present in extreme environments they changed or developed their uh, cell wall cell membrane and the molecular structures in their own okay and in the bacteria domain they are their characteristics are they are unicellular prokaryotic they show the mode of uh, nutrition that is the heterotropic autotropic and chemotropic and their examples are bacteria and cyanobacteria that means blue green bacteria okay and they uh, do not present in extreme environments and most of them require oxygen and light for their development or living okay so these are the differences in archaea, archaea domain and the bacteria domain okay so this is the all about the three domain classification system which is based on the 16s rna sequence okay different organisms have different 16s rna according to their differences they put into different domains and that three domains are archaea domain bacteria domain and eubacteria eukarya domain okay so under this domain also the kingdoms are present and all total six kingdoms are present okay thank you for watching this video